what if you want to do an upgrade? Not only using the physical standby as the migration vehicle, but you want to go to 19C as well. How do you do that? Oh, first, of course, you upgrade the standby, but you need to take into account that this adds downtime to the entire process. Because after switch over, you still need to do the upgrade on your standby side. So how does this work? We have the application still running here on the 11.204 production database, the yellow one. Our standby, the green one here, the target is in sync. Now we get downtime because we will stop the application. Once the application is stopped, we do the final synchronization. And once the final sync has been completed, we decouple, we disconnect the standby. At this point, we can now activate a standby. And once the standby is activated, we can afterwards upgrade it to 19C. Once it's upgraded, we can now start the application on the previous standby site, which is now our new production database. Sounds simple, is no rocket science, very straightforward. This is how the process looks like. So on the source database, we call our upgrade with minus mode analyze. And minus mode analyze will now examine our source database. Then we will stop the application. This means we have downtime now. We flush the redo on the production side, make sure it's in the redo logs, and then we ensure that we have the final sync. Redo information is sent over on the target database. Then we stop the recovering by cancel. We recover the standby database finally, so now it consumes all the leftover information from the redos, and then we finish the managed recovery mode. Once this is finished, we can now activate the physical standby database. And once it's activated, we can open it. And at this point, we call our upgrade for help and assistance. And our upgrade will now repeat the analyze, do the fix ups, then do the upgrade and all the post upgrade changes. And then the database is upgraded and we can start the application on our freshly upgraded target database. If you are going for less downtime than that, then please consider a transient logical standby database, either with the manual approach on a command line, or if you have an active data guard license, then with DBMS rolling. But what if you want also to convert to multi-tenant architecture? You remember, you have three pluggable databases included. We want to do this conversion, and this is an even extra step. So you convert now manually after upgrade with the non-CDB to PDB after you plugged in your freshly upgraded non-CDB into a prepared CDB environment, or you prepare that beforehand and you let out upgrade do the entire job because then out upgrade will upgrade your former standby and then plug it into the prepared CDB. Of course, you have to create that CDB where you plug it afterwards.